Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So in this video, we're actually testing out our drum filter that we're going to run in our Bioflock farm. So this is actually a live demonstration of the product in an actual environment where shrimp is also present in the tank. And we'll be sharing a little bit on its performance and the results of what is actually being filtered out and some of the afterthoughts of using this filter in our Bioflock system. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. For those who are new to RS Aquaculture, we actually produce weekly content with regards to shrimp farming and market farming either using Bioflock or RAS technology. And on our weekly videos, we usually look at all the different new technologies that we could actually potentially apply on our farm to make it better. So do like and subscribe and you'll get the weekly notification on our latest video. So in the past few weeks, we've actually been testing out this uh, drum filter in one of our 20 tons tank and we've been operating it in a, a farm that is uh, currently now in our biofloc setup so this is the farm you can see after operation everything's a bit dirty and when it's first newly opened it actually looks like that so obviously you know the biofloc water actually fouls up a lot of the netting and a lot of this filtration equipment so this is why we needed a backwash system that is automated like this so the idea is that the the drum filter is able to able to filter out some of the uneaten feed and um, for example the shrimp waste or even shrimp shells um, and it to see its efficiency so what we actually do it is actually install it on the paddle which looks like that and you can see that we remove the filter socks for you to be able to see it a bit uh, clearly and after we mount the filter socks ideally the drum filter will only backwash when it's clogged up and hopefully it reduces the amount of feces or uneaten feed inside the, the sock so one of the first problem is that we realized that the sock is actually uh, immersed in water so that the disposed liquid is actually not very very dry and when we pour it out uh, over here yeah we do see a little bit of this uh, uh, shells of the shrimps and some of the very dirty liquid over time so one of the first variation we try to do is to ensure that the the filter sock did not actually sit on the water because we we thought that it is actually decomposing some of the waste inside the water which is not what we want because we want it the solid to be actually settled out or removed from the drum filter and so the second variation we did is to ensure that the sock did not touch the water so we actually put it all over here and allow it to drip dry hoping that the sludge coming out from the drum filter will be a bit more drier right so this is second variation and turns out um, no, it is still very watery as well uh, as you can see that you know in the first round at least we gotten some shrimp shell but you can see over here is mainly just a uh, bioflock uh, so unfortunately what the drum filter is actually doing is actually filtering out the bioflock which is not what exactly we want it to do because this is due to the fact that the mesh is actually too fine for this application uh, as a result it actually gets clogged up very frequently by the bioflock itself and not just from the shrimp feed or the shrimp feces right so you can see if you go up all the way to the filter socks what you basically see is just uh, more and more bioflock there's no shrimp shells uh, which we wanted it to do uh, to filter in the first place so if you if you look at the water and allow it settle down you can see clearly that it settles out into two clear layer like you see over here the top layer being water bottom layer being the bigger chunks of flock and if you check it under microscope this also shows a similar case these are not a uh, waste or organic waste these are actually being broken down already one stage by the bioflock itself and this is actually microbial protein you can see remnants of uh, stock silates uh, rotifers as a trap so the bottom line of uh, this drum filter is that uh, while it's a good filtration equipment the mesh at the moment is too fine as a result it frequently gets plugged up by the biofog itself and it doesn't really do its job of filtering out the shrimp shells or shrimp feed so you can see clearly here by the difference between the inlet of the biofloc and outlet so the left is what is being filtered from bio, from the drum filter and the right is actually what is going into the drum filter and what you generally see is that the inlet will have some of these bigger biofloc molecules whereas the outlet of the drum filter will lack this big chunk of flocks uh, that you see over here so effectively the drum filter is actually filtering out the bigger chunks of the biofloc which could be 
additional protein source for the shrimp. So this is actually not what we want. And uh, we do have other equipments that could harvest the biofort more effectively, such as the settling tank, uh, which we have demonstrated already we've been using for years, and it's a great tool to remove all the biofort. So hopefully you like this video and learn more about the application. We will find another location where we use bio, uh, drum filter again. And in the meantime, do like and subscribe to so get latest updates on our farm. And hope to see you back again at Rasa Culture.